Defending champion Martin Truex Jr. clinched a playoff spot last episode in Atlanta with his first win of the season. Gary Owen had a solid top 10 finish, while Kyle Larson is having a rough start to his season. He had a poor finish in Daytona and a DNF in Atlanta after blowing a right front tire late in the race while running in the top 10. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Today we go into Las Vegas for the first of two Las Vegas races of the season as we visit here again once in the playoffs. We have a quick recap obviously in this race of Haley Deegan's efforts and she started P19 so it wasn't very great but hopefully we would have the speed and we were confident early on that we would have the speed to get up front as Daniel Hemrick started on the pole in this race just in front of I believe Christopher Bell in the 20 cars. She came through turns one and two losing one position down the back straightaway but she would be able to gain these positions back as we came to the midway point in this race working her way up to p13 getting into the top 10 now which is very solid effort from Haley Deegan and she would continue to climb her way forwards and by the time we came to the white flag she actually got into the top five trying to get third from Elliot Sadler but she would get into the wall on the last lap in turns one and two down the back straightaway as Ryan Truex led this race going into turn three just over Christopher Bell for the final time in turns three and four. So Haley Deegan would have a very solid effort as she would come through turns three and four for the final time and she would come through to get her first top ten in the Xfinity series. So a great effort by this team in this race. So hopefully we can march our way towards the playoffs if uh, we can continue the speed but now it's time to switch focus to the monster energy cup series race for myself and obviously coming into this track i'm looking forward to it we had a good run here last season i think both races uh we had top 10 so not much to be concerned about now as we come to our qualifying lap we made it to the final session of qual uh, qualifying right behind kevin harvick here through turn three and four with his teammate of eric almarola just up ahead has come out of turn four looking at a pretty decent lap now as we cut the trioval just a bit down on the apron we come across the line with a 30.731 and we will start las vegas in the eighth position Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its first stop in Las Vegas for the running of the Pennzoil 400 presented by Jiffy Lube. Vegas has grown so much in popularity that NASCAR doubled down and added a second race in 2018. Today, the field is stacked with NASCAR drivers seeking to get on a roll. In 2017, eventual cup champion Martin Truex Jr. picked up his first win of the year here also becoming the first driver ever to win all three stages in a single race. Will he hit the trifecta again today? Let's head on down to the track. We're just about ready to get underway on PRN. All right, we are ready to get going here in Las Vegas. Kyle Busch starts on the pole. Harrison Road sent to the back of the failing optical scanning station multiple times. Now we will start on the outside row behind the three car of Austin Dillon and alongside the 14 the of Clint Robert. Boyer as the green flag is about to wave and we are underway in Las Vegas behind the three of Austin Dillon. Kyle Busch leads us to the green as we cross the line sitting P8 as we head into turns one for the first time with Eric Almarola on my back bumper as we come into turns one and two. Kevin Harvick in P3 right on Kyle Busch's bumper now as I think that's Ryan Blaney up in second. Uh, might be Joey Logano actually. Yes, it is Joey Logano now as we come down the back straightaway. Losing one position to Kurt Busch now as we fall back to P9. Looking to get to the inside of Austin Dillon as we go into turns three and four. Just barely squeezing into that gap and we do clear him on the exit of turn four to gain back one of the positions positions that we lost on the start now sitting P8 across the line looking to the outside of the 41 of Kurt Busch as we go into turns one behind the 78 of Truex running the top line trying to see how that would work early on and early on here as you can see it works pretty good but we have to get out of the throttle to keep from getting into the, uh, the right side of Truex as he was coming up towards the wall really quick and I didn't want to get put into it as we come through turns three and four though Kyle Busch loses the lead early on as Kevin Harvick has taken control with Brad Gizalowski sitting behind him in second place as we come across the line to complete the second lap we pass Truex to take seventh now on the inside of the 22 of Joey Logano trying to gain another position or two through turns one and two but now Truex is able to come alongside me on the right side but as we come out of turn two we clear him once again with a chance to make it three wide down the back straightaway with the 41 and the 22 going into turns three. 
side by side with these two. I get out of the throttle earlier than both of them, allowing them to clear me. But Logano, he's losing time, and he ends up drifting back as we come to halfway through about lap four. We get to the inside of Kurt Busch once again, trying to make a pass on him. But as we go into turn three, right on the bumper of the 14, we're actually going to get a little too close to the apron as we touch it, moving up the track now, almost hitting the 41 in the left rear. So I really have to get out of the throttle there, and that allows the 78 of Truex to get to my inside as we cross the line to uh, complete the fourth lap. And as we come to lap 10 of 19 in stage one, still battling with the 78, the 22, the 41, all of these guys. As Kurt Busch, he fell back a little bit as we have to get out of the throttle once again to stay out of the back of Truex as we do end up getting into the back of him anyways. But we battle alongside the 41 of Kurt Busch going into turn three with just 10 to go in the stage as Logano moves ahead of Truex and Kurt Busch is looking to do the same thing as we were just stuck behind the 78 at this point in the race but I was able to get down back to the bottom line and we were going to be able to work our way ahead of Martin Truex Jr. as we went into turns one though having to get out of the throttle much earlier as we were behind the 41 allowing Truex to have a better entrance but he has a terrible exit and that allows me to come alongside him down the back straight away and get clear of him as we went into turns three it's now sitting P7 at this point in the race as Kurt Busch looks to the inside of Logano but Logano's going to chop his nose before we come out of turn four Closing the gap on these two just ahead of me. And throughout the rest of the stage, we couldn't really gain as much ground as I was hoping we would as we came to three laps to go in stage one. Only working our way up one more position up to P6 behind the 41 of Kurt Busch as we cross the line to hit two laps to go in stage one. Kevin Harvick currently leads after dominating last season with seven victories as he looks to make it one on the start of this season. Kevin Harvick had a chance to win many races last season that he actually lost out early on in the season. So he's trying to get to an early dominant start here this season. Now as we come through turns three and four, approaching the white flag this time by Kizilowski right on the back of Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano third, Kyle Busch fourth, Kurt Busch rounds out your top five, and we sit behind Kurt coming across the line to take the white flag with a chance to maybe steal a top five away from him as we come into turns one. Looking to his inside as he's going to get a little protective. He tries to get down in front of me, but he does not have a good exit now as we come out of turn two. Side by side with the 41 on his left rear coming across through the uh, back straightaway down into turn three. Kevin Harvick looking in command to win the stage, but we're going to get up to P5 just ahead of Kurt Busch, and we will clear him through turn three and four on the exit of turn four. Logano's going to hold Kyle Busch off for third. Harvick wins the stage, and we will get P5 to start stage one in this race. So a very solid effort from this team, and Eric Almarola rounds out the top ten, so he gets a stage point. And Kevin Harvick obviously gets a playoff point added to him as we get ready uh, to start stage two. We decided to come in, obviously, take two cans of fuel, four tires, and we would come out exactly where we came in. Which it would be nice if we had a little bit of variation in pit stops where um, drivers lose spots, gain spots, but I doubt that will happen now as the green flag is out and we are underway in stage two. Kevin Harvick leads us to the green alongside the two of Kevin Harvick. Logano on Harvick's back bumper as we are right all over Joey Logano trying to give him a shove, but I couldn't quite get to his back bumper through turns one and two now. Harvick clears the two of Keselowski as he moves up the track on the exit of turn two. Joey Logano tries to clear his teammate too down the back straightaway as we just sit in line behind these two waiting for something to happen as we're just going to continue to run the bottom and it seems like throughout this race I've really had to get out of the throttle much earlier on the entrance of the corner than other drivers but we do seem to have quite a bit better of an exit now as we come across the line side by side with the two of Keselowski as we head into turns one Logano looking on the back of the four trying to maybe make a move to take the lead as this, the, the two of Keselowski had a bit of a better center of the corner but we had a better exit now coming down the back straightaway clearing Keselowski going into turn three as Harvick's now trying to put a little bit of a gap between himself in and the field now as we clear Kizilowski through turns three and four so we sit p3 right behind these two battling it out for the lead and we want to join this uh, battle because we want to try and get a playoff point if we can now as we look to the outside of the 22 kind of screwing up the entrance of turns one and two allowing Kyle Busch to look to my inside as we come through the center and exit of the corner a better exit though is going to allow me to clear Kyle Busch now as Logano looks for the lead going into turns three and we're going to try to get to the bottom and follow him now as they both move up the track allowing me to get into this situation as we get uh, past Harvick side by side with him coming out of turn forward coming to the line we will pass Kevin Harvick now on the back bumper of Joey Logano 
And we have a chance to pass the 22 of Logano for the lead, but he was able to stay clear of me as we went into turns one. Now behind me, Kyle Busch trying to pass the four of Kevin Harvick as we come through turns one and two on the exit of the corner. Logano putting a bit of a gap between himself and I down the back straightaway. And as we came to the midway point in stage two, still about the same gap between myself and the leader as Kyle Busch pulled away from Harvick. And Harvick, he's drifting backwards at this point in the races. He's still in the top 10, but not doing very well. Now as we come down the back straightaway and the tires were starting to fall off in the car and it was certainly showing now as the 22 starting to put a little bit of a gap between myself and him now as we come into turn four hitting the wall just a little bit and losing some momentum on the exit of the corner allowing kyle bush to take p2 from me as we cross the line to complete the 10th lap of stage two now falling back to third place so certainly not what we needed but we only got maybe very minor damage from that so we escaped a bit of a disaster there as we come out of turn two down the back straightaway sitting third now behind kyle bush in second place and we're having a good run in this race and it's continuing to be a very good start to this season now as we approach the later parts of stage two closing once again just a little bit on the 18 of kyle bush so certainly we have some speed in the car and i i feel like we're running better than what we really should be right now i feel like we're like a six to seventh place start but as long as we continue to do what we're doing, we're going to get some extra points. And obviously that will pay off in the long run. Now as we come down the back straightaway, continuing to close on the back of the 18 of Kyle Busch. And now as we come to two to go in the stage, still in the same position as we were a few laps prior to this uh, two to go mark of stage two. Now right on the back bumper, just about a Kyle Busch. We go a different line through turns one and two because I noticed that the center line was actually, or the middle line, was actually kind of working a little bit now as we come down the back straightaway we did lose some time that time though so it didn't work throughout there so we immediately dropped down to the bottom and that time though i hit the apron trying to run the bottom of the track and up ahead we have a car blowing up and joey logano the leader is going to be the first one to catch that blowing up car now as we come across the line to start the white flag in stage two and Logano makes contact with the car and around he goes sideways and we're going to go to the top line trying to pass Kyle Busch as he's held up behind the blowing car of Brian Newman and Logano hangs on to the car after just about losing it as we come down the back straightaway. Logano though has regained his momentum as we come into turns three and four so we're not going to be able to run him down as we come through on the exit of turn four. Joey Logano will hold on to win stage two in dramatic fashion as we will come across the line to get second in the stage and if we would have won that stage it would have been nice because last season we won our first stage in stage two of Las Vegas so it would have been kind of cool to win it again but uh, we will be coming to pit road and I had to take four tires and two cans of fuel if I wanted to, wanted to compete with the AI but you see exactly what happens the AI with the no tire wear issue puts me back 14 positions right, to P16 fortunately they did take two tires so we only lost 14 spots instead of like 30 positions as this, the final stage is underway and it's not a very long stage it's only about 25 laps now as we look to the inside just about 13 of Ty Dillon as we come into turns one and two Logano Kyle Busch side by side leading this pack obviously we're going to be set a bit back but hopefully we can work our way back towards maybe fifth or sixth and then get a caution if we need one now as we come through turns three and four behind Eric Amarola looking to the right side of uh, Ty Dillon but we're going to go to the outside of Amarola here on the exit of turn four trying to make it three wide as we come across the line to complete lap one in stage three not quite able to get to his outside now as we come through into turns one on the right side of Eric Jones and I'm immediately going to move up to the top here and get to the right hand side of Almirola through turns one and two on the exit of two he's pushing up the track and he's going to hit me into the wall Almirola has put me in the wall and I was not happy about that to say the least and we immediately try to retaliate on him as I turn left on him and end up hitting the apron and getting sideways and we do have damage on the right front of the car as you can clearly see on the right side with mainly the right front that is damaged as we come across the line with 23 to go certainly a major setback now as Almirola just took, put me in the wall I don't know if he was forced up by the 20 of Jones but at this time I didn't know I just felt like Almirola just put me in the wall so obviously I'm not happy with him at this point in the race as we come down the back straightaway with a big run as Almirola's three wide with Jones and Elliott and we go into turn three making sure to follow the 10 as we come through the center of the corner closing up on him as we come out of turn four to get up to P14 past Eric Jones as we approach the line we are certainly way behind now and likely not even in a position to win with this damage it's certainly going to make the car tighter as we come into turns one and two all over the back of the 10 
of Almirola now is we're going to have a run on his outside and certainly going to let him know that we're not very happy once again as we're going to force him down towards the white line and make a little bit of contact with him down the back straightaway as we go into turn three and he's going to regain the position for the moment now as we approach his right rear once again as we're looking alongside and the caution comes out with 22 laps to go. Certainly not what we were hoping for this early. I was hoping to gain about five to six more positions at least and then get a caution and this race is really taking a downhill turn for us but we still have the speed to at least get a top 10 i know we do as the green flag is about to wave and we are back underway in las vegas starting alongside the 10 of almarola but i decided we can maybe kind of let up on him now as we need to focus on our own race with 18 laps to go now in las vegas and we're going to try and force the three wide on ty dillon making a little bit of contact on his left rear through the center of the corner in the middle of a three wide approaching the back bumper of Almirola and I decided you know what we're not done yet we're going to force a four wide on him now as we come down the back straightaway coming into turn three we should be able to get ahead of him now as we kind of messed up our teammate Kyle Larson just out of anger towards Almirola but we did gain the positions to get up to P11 behind the 47 of uh, AJ Allmendinger who says P10 and we would get to his inside cross the line and work our way into the top 10 now back in the finally in the top 10 in Las Vegas as Joey Logano continues to lead it's Kevin Harvick on the outside here he has not had the best of days yeah, considering how he started this race as we look to the inside of the 12 of Ryan Blaney going down the back straightaway into turns three outside, outside. certainly rebounding quite a bit at this point now as we come alongside the 12 able to get ahead of him on the exit of turn four approaching the back bumper of the 78 of Martin Truex Jr. as we cross the line and hit 16 laps to go in this race and this damage on the car is certainly going to be a factor as we come towards the end of this race and as we come out of turn two now edging ahead of the 78 of Truex we will clear him with ease down the back straight by working our way up to P6 and as we came to 10 laps to go we've gained two more positions over Denny Hamlin and get up to P4 now with just 10 to go in this race as the leader is still Joey Logano as he battles it up, up there with other drivers. I cannot fully tell who it is. It might be Quinn Boyer. Actually, no, it's definitely not Quinn Boyer up there, I don't think. But as we come into turns three, still setting P4, now pulling away from the cars behind me. So we certainly had speed, but now as we come to just a few laps later, lap 59 approaching lap 60, the speed was certainly starting to go away as we approach the final handful of laps of this race. As Joey Logano now has lost the lead in Las Vegas says it might be Kurt Busch leading as we come across the line eight laps to go remain in this race now as we come into turns one and two Hamlin behind me along with Ryan Blaney as we come through the center of the corner moving up the track as the car was really starting to get tight and this is allowing them all to close up on my back bumper and as we come to four laps to go we did get passed by a group of cars Harvick Blaney and Hamlin and it continues to happen now as Truex looks to my inside along with Keselowski and I believe our teammate Larson in uh, behind them two as well now as we come down the back straightaway hitting three laps to go this time by in the race and certainly the damage has really affected the late speed in this race uh, even with the right front worn tire if we didn't have the damage we would certainly have a little bit more speed as we come across the line though to hit three laps to go Truex will try to pass me as we do a little bit of a side draft on him on his right rear as we go into turns one Kizilowski forces me three wide swipe back out of it as our teammate Kyle Larson now is going to force a three wide on Kizilowski and Truex down the back straightaway we're going to give the 78 a big shot down the straightaway Kizilowski no help at all as we go into turns three and four Larson having a good run for the first time this season as we come to the center of the corner exiting turn four now alongside the 78 once again but we're going to try and force the three wide but I just don't have the speed so we fall back in line as we cross two to go now look into his inside accidentally we look into his inside as we go into turns one and two now side by side with the 78 of Truex trying to get P9 out of this race as we come down the back straightaway side by side with the 78 it's Kozlowski tries to pass my teammate Kyle Larson going into turn three as we clear the 78 Truex now drifting up the track now as I drift up the track on the exit of the corner allowing the 78 to close back up on my back bumper as we cross the line this time by the white flag is in the white air as our teammate moves up the track Larson leaving the inside open to Kizilowski now as we come into turns one and two Larson shuts the door and we are going to likely be able to hold off the 78 at this point because he does not have a very good turn to exit down the back straightaway for the final time in Las Vegas Larson finally pulling off 
a good run here in the mile and a half track. Now as we come through turns three and four for the final time, I believe it is Kurt Busch leading this race as he might be the winner now as we come through the trioval. We will finish ninth in Las Vegas. So our worst finish of the season, but that's nothing to hang our heads over as it is indeed Kurt Busch in victory lane to lock himself into the playoffs now in Las Vegas. So um, good for him, I guess, but certainly a good result for us once again as we have started the season with three top tens in three races. It's Alex Bowman with a poor finish down there in 30th. Ryan Newman DNF'd, obviously, with a blown engine at the end of Stage 2, so he finishes dead last in 40th as we bring home a pretty good payout now. We almost make $700,000 in merch, which doesn't seem very uh, realistic as we sit second in the points behind Kevin Harvick who obviously is the favorite and once again he's starting the season off dominant without a win just like he did last season so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out through the rest of the season as we made just over a million dollars in this race so that's pretty nice at least now as uh, that was a good race for us and hopefully we can continue this momentum into the coming races next uh, episode we will have ism raceway as we have a lot of drivers happy with us so that's good at least so we can compliment them all and um, now we can check out the playoff grid and i'm really happy that we haven't had any um, upset winners because like I said, we want to have the most competitive playoffs as we can. And it's looking like we might end up getting that this season if things continue the way they are. But here is the playoff standings once again. So your last car in the playoffs, I'm not sure who that is right now. But obviously still a lot of time for this to shake out. But we'll see uh, down at the bottom there who's in last in the playoffs. And there's Almirola in 15th and 16th is going to be Trevor Bain. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, those would all be very appreciated. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. I will see you guys in the next one in ISM Raceway. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have yourselves a great day.